Welcome to Jason on English. Let's look at idioms. Doubt, shock, surprise. Idioms. Idioms are very important when you're learning any language. Idioms are words, phrases, and sentences with meanings that do not match the words directly. For example, the verb break, broke, broken. Bob broke the window. This means Bob damaged the window. This is the most common way to use the word broke. It's the past tense of the word break. However, I could also say Bob is broke. This means Bob has no money. This is an idiom. If you don't know the idiom, you can't guess the meaning when you look at the sentence. The word doesn't seem to match the meaning that it's being used for. Idioms sound very natural, but can be difficult to learn and remember. Doubt, shock, surprise. Listeners should react to what the speaker says. One common reaction is surprise. Maybe the most popular way to show surprise is by using this word. Really? That means I'm surprised. Really? Usually the intonation goes up at the end. Let's try one more time. Really? If you feel doubt or shock, you can change the intonation. Really? Hmm. That intonation is a little different. Maybe I'm shocked. Really? Hmm. That sounds more like I don't believe you. So we've got three options here. Really? 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 If you like, you can practice that intonation. Here are some idioms you can use when you feel surprise, shock, or doubt. No way! No way! Get out of here! Get out of here! You're pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. No way is also very popular. The next two, get out of here. You're pulling my leg. Those sentences could be understood very differently. Maybe sometimes get out of here means leave this room now. In this case, it means I'm surprised or shocked or I don't believe what I'm hearing. You're pulling my leg. That sounds like you are attacking me, but this idiom means I'm surprised or I'm shocked or I have doubt. The last one is stronger. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. This one is usually for doubt, so be careful if you choose to use this one. The best way to practice is to choose two that you like. For example, really? And get out of here. If you have two, then you can have a little variety when you're speaking. Of course, remembering all of the idioms is very important, especially for your listening. Practice reacting to the following statements. Use some of the idioms on previous pages. Bob just won the lottery. Bob just won the lottery. Jim got a gold medal in the Olympics. Jim got a gold medal in the Olympics. 
Anne has a twin sister. Anne has a twin sister. Bob has five dogs. Bob has five dogs. Jim bought a private island. Jim bought a private island. Every language has idioms. It's important to remember idioms when you find them and learn them. You will hear them a lot. Native speakers prefer using idioms over words that are more commonly found only in the dictionary. If I said, I don't believe you, or I doubt it, or I don't think that's true, or I'm very surprised, I'm shocked, you know, those sentences are okay. But saying, really? Or, no way. Or, get out of here. Sounds a lot more natural when you're speaking English. If you like, please watch this video again and practice the idioms we looked at. Thank you for watching.